I'm Ben. I'm Crystal. Welcome to Bikes Booze Bigfoot, where we get to ride our motorcycles places and have some adult beverages and are generally obsessed with paranormal beans. We rode to Colorado in late June of 2022, out on the road for seven nights with everything we needed stuffed into the luggage on our bikes. Our journey begins with us leaving our home city of Des Moines, stopping first in North Platte, Nebraska. Then we'd ride into the Rocky Mountain National Park, staying in Estes Park. We ride peak to peak highway and up the summit on Mount Evans and Pikes Peak. We would be walking with the wolves in Colorado Springs, as well as hitting the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo for Moonlight on the Mountain, a night full of music, food, and drinks with the giraffes. And then riding back home to Des Moines. We're calling this trip our getting high in Colorado trip. Four days of riding our bikes above 10,000 feet in the mountains in Colorado, reaching elevations above 14,000 feet on two summits. Enjoy. Hello, world. We're here just outside of uh, Nebraska. We're heading to Colorado this week, so riding our motorcycles. Mine's just behind me. Plan today is to go to North Platte. It's about a 400-mile ride. Uh, I think it puts us there right around 4 o'clock if we do our math right. Thrown out, we're stopped at an Arby's in Lincoln. We just finally took a lunch break. We've been traveling since 9 a.m. It's about noon right now, and it's three and a half hours more till we get to our next destination, our final destination for the day. We're going to go to the Golden Spike to look at uh, trains. So once we get there, I'll get this out and we'll take a nice look. It's been a little windy on the way up. Um, making it hard to hear the music, our music, and um, <clears throat> definitely getting pushed around a lot behind the semis. But other than that, it's been a really nice trip. Uh, we've had really hot weather here in Iowa for a while, and now it's high 70s, low 80s, and that is uh, incredible. And great luck today, so talk to you later. In Nebraska, petrol stop. we got like another 80 miles to our destination just put on about 150 miles through uh i-80 middle of nebraska fun fact not much there they did about get hit by a semi wasn't really paying attention to us and kind of drove into our lane as we were there so that was a bit awkward had to get the hell out of there quick but figure another hour 15 hour 20 minutes and we'll be in north platte nebraska yeah, the remote is working, so I just pressed it. My issue is with this lanyard. I got it clipped and I need something a little different. So I basically I'm having to hold it because the string is just pulling it around. So this is Nebraska. This is the section that has a couple trees and no cows. Buffalo Bill Highway, kind of excited for that. And our favorite part of travel, semis that won't pass one another.
Okay, we made it out here to the North Northern Platte, and we are at the train yard. It's very cool, actually. There's a lot of history here, talking about how they had to ship people during the war, mostly children um, and babies, to orphanages, to their homes, to families, to foster care, uh, how important the train systems were back then, and how they're pretty much important still today. So here is some footage of it. <laughs> So, Crystal, what do you think of the train, North Platte train? It's actually really cool. Um, it has a very good history behind it, and I didn't know half of that, and I didn't know that it was still pretty big here in the Midwest, so nice to see. Yeah, it's interesting. I think I think I heard Buffalo Bill made his ranch place his home here because he had quick access to the trains to get on them, so... Once again, this is in North Platte in Nebraska, where the largest train yard is, uh, running through most of the Midwest. So you can see that I have a giant red mark on my forehead that's from my helmet. It was kind of pressing on my head today. For some reason, usually it does not. But yeah, we made it. And um, right now, Ben's off taking some pictures. I took a couple of shots, and hopefully they turn out. It's kind of hard to gauge how big this area is, so. So we made it to our hotel room on the first night here in North Platte, in North, um, in Nebraska. Then we'll probably have about four more hours and get into Colorado, into the Rocky Mountains. You can tell I got a little stump burnt. I always do right here. I forgot to put some sunscreen on. That's the only spot that I usually get sunburnt burnt wearing my motorcycle stuff. So other than that, it was a pretty good trip. I did find that um, my waterproof boots that I wear for long periods of time, for long journeys, they are just not working out for me anymore. They hurt my feet. So I switched to my regular shoes, um, motorcycle shoes. They're, they look like tennis shoes. Uh, it was a pretty good trip. Usually when we make this trip, it is incredibly hot. And then we get into Colorado where it's much more mild. Uh, this time it was perfect. So everything turned out very good. We're here. And right now I'm just sitting in the hotel room, got my contacts out because my contacts get really blurry from dryness. And I put my glasses on and I'm just hanging out watching Simpsons and Bob's Burgers. There's a room, it's a nice, just a queen or king size bed, but plenty of room. Uh, looks like we got a TV so we can... Still got to figure out game plan for tonight. But there's kind of a quick... Small little room with selfie, but I pressed the wrong button. Did you push me?